Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out the infamous Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. And then I also have the matching concealer. So the Double Wear concealer as well. So if you would like to see a review and a 10 hour wear test, please keep watching. So I'm going to prep my skin and then while the primer sinks in, I'm going to read you some information about this foundation. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Now I'm going to go in with my Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. This is so good for dry skin. If you haven't tried it, you need to. It's like, it's the best and it's my favorite. I will forever repurchase. So I am a little worried. The shade that I picked up is 2W2 Rattan, I believe, and it looks pretty yellow. And then you can see like when I get a tan, so I don't tan my face or my neck like in the sun. I've been wearing like a hat in the pool, but you can see like to me, I feel like when I get tan, I have more of like a pinky tan undertone. I don't know. Okay, well in person it looks like pinky undertone, but I guess on camera it looks a little bit like yellow warm. So yeah, I guess we're gonna find out. And if I remember right, like two or three years ago when everybody was using this on YouTube, they were buying the MAC foundation pumps to put on this. So maybe I will try that eventually. So I just went ahead and went to Ulta.com. This foundation retails for $43, so it's pretty pricey. It has almost five stars. You get one ounce. Then it says 24 hour staying power. It's the number one foundation in the US. All skin tones, all undertones, double wear, stay in place makeup is made in your shade. It's matte foundation that looks flawless and natural liquid foundation that feels lightweight and so comfortable you won't believe it's super long wear, no touch ups needed. Unifies uneven skin tone and covers imperfections. Buildable medium to full coverage foundation stays color true. Won't look gray on deeper skin tones. Estee Lauder's best foundation for long wear. Double wear is oil free and oil controlling. The transfer resistant and waterproof foundation formula lasts in hot and humid weather. Keeps up with your busy day for millions of women. It's double wear or nothing. Put it on once and don't think twice. And then it also tells you how to determine your undertone. So that's cool. It says, for cool undertones, bare skin has a rosy tone and burns easily in the sun. Neutral undertones, which is like my favorite in foundations, bare skin is more even tone, not too pink or golden. And then warm undertones, bare skin has a golden or olive tone and tans easily in the skin, which I... <laughs> Which tans easily in the skin. Which tans easily in the sun, which I do tan pretty easy in the sun as well. 24-hour wear, flawless natural matte foundation, oil-free, oil-controlling, transfer-resistant, waterproof, matte, fragrance-free liquid foundation. And then how to use, it just says fingertip sponge or foundation brush. And supposedly this comes in 55 shades. Then as always, I'm gonna do one side with a sponge and one side with a brush. So I'm just gonna shake it up. I just have a feeling this color is gonna be like completely off. I'm getting like, if you guys saw my Jouer foundation first impression, it was so yellow. And I feel like that's what this is gonna look like in yellow just does not look good on me. But I don't know what's going on, but I feel like the last couple times I've purchased foundation like off the internet, I'm normally like spot on, like not to toot my own horn. But the last few times, like maybe it's like my pregnancy brain. I don't know what's going on, but I haven't been able to find <laughs> like when I order my shade it comes and it's like yellow or it's like completely off I don't know what's going on so you just screw it off I might actually stop into Mac well we'll see if I like this foundation I'll make sure I go get my like correct shade but I might actually stop in a Mac and get the pump because I hate this all right so it's kind of like a thick liquid I'm just gonna start off with this much for sh for now it's really yellow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm getting like Jouer vibes all over again. So I'm gonna use my damp Morphe sponge. Interesting, I feel like the sponge just soaked up like all my product. But it does feel really lightweight. It has like a Similar scent to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, kind of like that chemical smell. Mm. 
And I'm just going to build it up as much as I can. I mean, I do like it applied with the sponge, but I feel like the sponge is taking a lot of it. I don't think the shade is terrible, but it's definitely not my shade right now. And I guess I'm just going to finish up what's on my hand. I remember people saying that this foundation was like super duper duper full coverage. And to me, I mean, you guys saw how much I used and maybe it's just the sponge, but uh, I don't know. So I'm going to pour a little bit more out and I'm going to use this Morphe M439 foundation brush. Weird. Like, I expected this foundation to be, like, thick. I didn't expect it to be, like, super runny and, like, lightweight. And I feel... Like I'm kind of having to use a lot just to get like a medium coverage, even with a brush. So maybe this foundation would be best applied with a brush and then go over with a sponge. But I can't even feel it on my skin, so I really like that. It is really lightweight. And it doesn't look terribly matte. But yeah, I feel like I have to use a lot to get full coverage. So now I'm just going to go over lightly with my sponge, make sure there's no brush strokes. So this is what my skin looks like up close. So now I'm going to be trying out the concealer. I have the shade 1C Light and it's a cool undertone. This has four stars. It retails for $29, so again, that's pretty pricey. This is the Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. It says, looks flawless, lasts 15 hours, it feels comfortable, never dry, stays seamless without creasing. The lightweight cream formula creates the perfect look of flawless skin and lasts all day. Transfer resistant, color true, with medium buildable coverage that won't slip, slide, or melt away. Luminous finish, infused with minerals and emollients to condition skin and make blending easy. Oil free, water, perspiration, and humidity resistant. 15 hour flawless wear, wand applicator, applicator styles of precision precision wand natural matte finish oil free fragrance free how to use it says choose a concealer shade that matches your foundation or one shade lighter for best results applying concealer after you apply your foundation use double wear concealer with concealer brush five swipe concealer on back of the hand then with brush smooth on over desired area which i'm not doing that um target concealing techniques darkness around eyes Go with a lighter shade than your foundation. For puffiness, slightly darker. For uneven skin tone, wear the exact same shade as your foundation. Insider tip, use double wear concealer as a base under a nude pink lipstick for longer wear. And then this concealer comes in 20 shades. So it just has a standard doe foot, nothing special. Um, it feels like it's going to dry fairly quickly so I'm gonna do one eye at a time I'm gonna use my morphe e45 first just to press it in feels like kind of sticky too but it looks really nice doing those but again to me it smells like that wet and wild foundation and it says it's fragrance free and this also said that it was a cool undertone but to me it looks like it still has like a little bit of a yellow undertone maybe I should just stop buying foundation and concealer online and like go in the store
But I think the two products look really good together. I'm just going to look up close real quick. Yeah, I think my skin looks really nice. And it doesn't look overly matte, which I really like as well. The color is actually not that bad. Yeah, my skin looks really nice up close. So just for a closer view, this is what my skin looks like with the foundation and concealer. I definitely still feel sticky, so I'm going to have to set my face. I'm going to use my La Paris Loose Powder. And then I've been using like this Beauty Blender thing. I kind of like it. It's just like a little sponge. And I'm just going to dip in there. I'm going to press that in. I kind of just been like patting it, not making sure it's all pressed in. And then I just go back in with a stippling brush and just stipple away all the additional product. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm just going to take a mixture of the beige and the yellow highlight. Well, let's just go in with the beige first. I'm going to use my Morphe M536. This is my favorite brush to use for my under eyes. It doesn't look like it creased at all. Hm. That's what it said. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera, but so far I really like this. It is 147, so I guess we'll just make the call time 145, and I'll be right back to let you guys know how all the other products went on. So I'm back. Everything went on really nice. I have zero complaints, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys everything that's on my face. For bronzer, I used my MAC Give Me Sun. I try to take full advantage of this in the summertime because it's too warm for me like in the winter spring months when I'm like super fair for blush this is like if I had to pick like top five favorite blushes this is definitely one of them this is from Kylie and this is the hot and bothered blush I am obsessed I love this for highlighter I used my Too Faced candlelight glow this is the duo one so there's like a pink side and then just like a white kind of cream shade and I just mix the two together then I also just put that give me sun like in my crease and then on my lower lash line what else did I use to set my face I used my MAC fix plus this is the cucumber scent and then I used my NYX matte finish setting spray I'm trying to use this I think I have one more use out of it for brows, I used my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. I used a ColourPop brow pencil that I still don't know the name of. And then my Essence Make Me Brow Blondie Brows to set them. For lips, I used... This lip liner didn't match this lip color at all. But this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy. And then I went on top of it with one of my favorite shades from Kat Von D. This is the shade Love Sick. So yeah, that's everything on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here and I will see you guys for my first check-in in about four hours. So it'll be 5.45 and I'm vlogging this whole week for like a summer giveaway slash summer vlog. So I'm going to be doing that today as well and I have a couple errands to run. So I will check back in with you guys here in about four hours. Hey guys, so I'm late with my four hour check-in because right now it's almost seven o'clock. So I've had this foundation on for five hours and 15 minutes I think I haven't had a chance to look at it because I had a doctor's appointment and we ran some errands so I'm gonna look at it right now Ooh, okay so this still looks really nice it looks nice and like airbrushed like right here where the foundation is here is good I have already eaten a little bit and normally I start to cake around here after I eat and drink stuff and I didn't so it's nice my nose still looks really nice let's see 
Ooh, my forehead still looks really nice too. I don't think I need a powder or anything. So just a close up of a five hour wear. Still looks really good. It did say you could put it on and forget it, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some dinner and then I'll be back here in a few hours with another check-in. Hey guys, so I'm here for my final check-in. It's 11.45, so I've had this foundation on for exactly 10 hours and wow. Um, I don't even have to powder. Like, I'm not oily, I'm dry skin, but because of my bangs, I usually have to powder like right around here and it still looks really nice. Like, I could powder because it, it looks like there's like a little bit of shininess, but like nothing for 10 hours, you know what I mean? And like, the rest of my makeup still looks really good on top of this foundation. I love this. I totally understand why people love it. And I went online, Ulta.com, and I saw that they sell pumps specifically for the Double Wear Foundation for $10. So I think I'm going to go to Ulta tomorrow and pick up the pump for this. And I really didn't think that I was going to like the shade because just like looking at it, even when I applied it this morning or this afternoon, I thought it was going to be way too light, which it is lighter than my body but it's still like wearable if I bronze so I'm like totally weirded out by that but I really really like this and again I have the shade 2w2 rattan which you would never think this was my shade but somehow it worked out so um then I have the double wear stay in place flawless wear concealer this is okay I definitely don't think it's worth $30 like it kind of started to cake up like right here like in the corners of my eyes and I don't really like that but I did apply a lot but I didn't apply any more than if I was using a different concealer like I apply the same amount of concealer with any concealer that I'm using so maybe less is more with this guy but I just to me I would pay $50 for this I would not pay 30 some dollars for the concealer it just wasn't like as amazing to me as the foundation but if I mean if you are like a die-hard double wear foundation girl then I would suggest like checking out the double wear concealer because if you didn't like it, you could always return it but I definitely definitely recommend this foundation this is so good it's so good like I'm probably gonna wear it like a lot like this is probably gonna be like my go-to like long lasting perfect for the summer foundation for sure like I think this is gonna be my go-to like long lasting foundation if I'm not gonna have time to like touch up throughout the day or like it says I just want to put it on and forget about it like that's gonna be my go-to foundation for sure I cannot believe I waited so many years to finally try it but I'm glad that I did so let me know if you guys have tried the Estee Lauder double wear foundation and what your skin type is because like I said I'm dry but I have been making like a huge effort to apply moisturizer in the morning and when I go to bed. So that's really been helping with my dry skin. But, and then I used a moisturizing primer so that also helps as well. But I think it looks great on my dry skin. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation first impression and wear test on Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer and Foundation. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later.